they say it's an effective drug still the dis distribution of this drug is like there is some political element to it surely an economic element as well so what it reinforces is that we as a community are well exposed well well exposed and there are certain key issues facing the community that we need to resolve these issues for me leadership is one issue that needs to be resolved as soon as possible one voice for the black man now don't know how much black people are here in the earth they say there's over a billion Chinese, over a billion Indians. But the figure for Africans is up in the air. And it's not, it's not being touted as one billion. Anywhere near this billion, if that was under one central government, one nation, say 90%, 70% of this one billion or half point nine billion, whatever it is, they say the figure for the African population, that was under one voice. That in itself is a market that in itself is a government, is an economy that has strength, strength of resources, strength of consumers to keep the thing turning. So amongst the African nations, I'm trying to say to this, is this, I'm trying to say is this, Amongst the African nations and the continent who don't all produce the same thing. Surely, trade in food commodities. You don't necessarily need to import food from outside of the continent of Africa. So I'm trying to say under one umbrella, no, one government, this thing. These, these, these GDP and these national budgets and these, all these things that they're reading per capita income and all these things that they speak of in economic terms across the board when they say this country is leading because of this a black nation that magnitude will surely eclipse all of these figures that they're coming up with representing their own economies the basic thing in this is this, in Africa, Africans need to control the resources of Africa. The, resor the resources of Africa are not dominated and owned primarily by Africans. Therein lies a big issue for our security, for our survival. Yeah, serious thing. See the man them said them have some little stunt where them said them run off the white farmers half of them farm now maybe me have to give more analysis to the whole thing but what I would hope is that any efforts to replace to remove the farmers they say they're white farmers to remove them then you surely must have a system in place to replace them with black ones because these are viable economic entities food production is gonna stall if you don't replace the black the white farmers with black farmers if you just replace them so they're you're creating a vacuum in the supply so what I'm saying is yeah we don't eat all the same thing in Africa so therefore that gives us a chance 
to grow our specific cultural commodities and the surpluses we afford to, we can afford to trade them for things that we don't normally grow for ourselves. Inter intra African trade is such a viable market. When you go to West Africa and you see the Libyans, is it the Libyans? The Lebanese operating food wholesales and stuff like that in West Africa. It, it it's like how someone's put a knife in your stomach and wrung it. Yeah. Now, capitalism is there. Every man free for go where he want to go to make a living, whatever not. But what I'm saying is this. Certain key elements of the economy, they must be controlled and dominated by Africans for the security of Africans. We're well, not going to go into China and see majority of food being distributed by Europeans. You're not going to see it. So nothing in Africa is food distribution at certain levels of the economy controlled by Africans. That can't work. That's unsustainable and it's it leaves you exposed in a national security context. And the effects of which we've seen mat materializing now. So we're saying, here in the UK, what is needed is an infiltration of the food supply network based upon blacks feeding blacks, West Indians feeding West Indians, Africans feeding Africans. You understand what I said here? There must be a coming together, bring capital together, focus on economic entities to distribute food to Africans, people of African descent, from African sources. There needs to be a concerted effort to realize that, to cut into the market share that the other people have in supplying the black community with food. I think this is a nice point. If you really left it. Cause follow the money we say now. Father Joe, Abba Tequil Foundation, Daddy Marcos TV. Yeah. Follow the money. Food security is a national security issue. Marcos Gavi, we were here today, he would remind you. You understand me? So we say, Restoration of the Ethiopian monarchy is pivotal to our existence right now. We need a one voice for the black man. Yes? And going forward in our present situation, we have a need to address food security issues under the context or through the lens of national security. Right now in the UK, the black British community does not substantially feed itself it's reliant on other ethnic groups for food it means therefore that we are exposed things that are relevant to us primarily our position to defend them is severely weakened because we can be manipulated through food we do not feed ourselves we have to address that issue and the grace and mercy and loving kindness of the most I can Celestia Jah, Rastafari, and Empress Menin High. <laughs>